Isomerism can be defined as the chemical compounds that have same molecular formula but different molecular structure or arrangement in space. Isomerism can be split into two main groups which is constitutional isomers and stereoisomers. Constitutional isomers is also known as structural isomers. So for structural isomers, the atoms is arranged in a completely different order. So for today, we are going to cover three types of structural isomers which is chain isomers, positional isomers and functional groups isomers. So first, chain isomers. We can draw chain isomers by changing the different length in the carbon skeleton. So for example, the molecular formula C6H14. So first, we can draw a straight chain which is made of 6 carbon. So it is a hexane. And then to draw the chain isomers for C6H14, we can change the length of the carbon chain. So now I draw a 5 carbon chain and there will be 1 carbon which will be drawn as a branch. So I can put the alkyl group on the second carbon as a branch. So it is 2 methyl pentane. Or I can also draw a 5 carbon chain and I put the alkyl group on the second on the third carbon as a branch, which it will become a 3 methyl pentane. I can also draw a 4 carbon chain and there will be two alkyl group as branches. So I can put the two alkyl group on the second and third carbon. So it is a 2-3 dimethyl pentane. Or I can also draw a 4 carbon chain and the branch I put it on the second carbon. So it is named as 2 2 dimethyl protein. So based on the example here, I have 5 chain isomers. So hexane is made of 6 carbon chain and pentane is made of 5 carbon chain and botane is made of 4 carbon chain. Positional isomers. For positional isomers, the basic carbon skeleton will remain unchanged. So it means that the length of the carbon chain is still the same, but we are moving the position of the functional group. For example, C3, H7, or H. So uh, this compound is made of three carbon, and we have the hydroxyl group. As a functional group so I can put the hydroxyl on my first carbon and on the other compound I can put my hydroxyl on the second carbon so this will form two different positional isomers which is one propano and two propano so you can see the number of carbon chain is still the same which is three carbon and the difference is the position of my hydroxyl group. Functional groups isomerism are the compound with the same molecular formula but different in the structure in terms of functional group. So they are belong to a different homologous series. For general formula of C2H2N plus 2O, we can relate the functional group isomers of alcohol and ether. In C2H2NO, I can draw an aldehyde and it has a functional group isomers with ketone. And for C2H2N, it is an 
alkane which can have the functional group isomers with cycloalkane and C2H2O2 we can draw an carboxylic acid with the functional group isomers of ester so keep this relationship in mind so it will be easier for you to draw the functional group isomers so let's look at the example when I have the molecular formula of C2H6O I can draw my structure as a alcohol and I know alcohol has a functional group isomerism with ether which I can draw into CH3 or CH3 which is a dimethyl ether or the next example C3H6O which I can draw as a CH3, CH2, CH double bond O which is a propane, propana and it is belong to aldehyde group so aldehyde has a functional group isomers with ketone so I can draw the structure as CH3, C double bond O, CH3 which is a propanone